A package has come from the hills, the Balsam Hills. So this is a, uh, I guess a curiosity to see if I can use some uh, replacement LEDs. Because I got this type of LED, Balsam Hill. And it's the, they call it the 1A. So it looks like that. It looks like a standard uh, lamp holder with a little light lock. But it's not a standard size. And you can't just pick anything off the shelf. So, I've been looking at Balsam Hill for years to get some more replacement lamps because I only got like 11. Because so I threw a bunch of them out when I was replacing bulbs and stuff like that. I figured, well, I could just go on Balsam Hill site and get some more. Well, when I needed them, they don't have them. And it's been years. And I don't think they're ever going to restock them. And they don't sell the light sets anymore. So, I took a gamble. And I bought their new style uh, lamps, lamp holders. And they're completely different. But this is what they look like. So they got a little, a little tail on them. So this part here in the front side. So it would be this side here. It's got a little bump. So I'm going to see... For giggles, I want to see if the width of the bottom of the holder is about the same size. So I'm going to put them up together. And I think they are. So I'm going to try a little experiment. I'm going to get a pair of nippers. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut that little nip off to the top of the base. Let's see what happens. And then maybe shave that other uh, thing down. So I'm going to just nip that off. And now I'm going to go take an X-Acto knife. And I'm going to shave down that front side. So now, I got the lamp holders to look like that. So the one on this side, that's the old one. And this is the new one. So I'm going to go out and see if it fits. And then you'll know, because I'll scream out, oh, it sucked, it failed. So I'm going to pick one here, that's an oddball that I put in here, and then see if this plugs in. So the next thing I want to see if there's any kind of weird I want to see if there's any kind of weird bumps on the inside of the socket. 
because uh, this lamp holder has some little bumps, some little indentations in it. I want to see if the socket matches that. I think the new ones are just a little bit fatter. So that's the, so that's the trick for these things. So if you got the regular 1A bulbs, so what you're gonna have to do if you wanna go this route and you're gonna have to work a little bit and you're gonna have to have a knife. So you're gonna have to take this part off, this nipple. So from here, that, that top part, just to the top of the wires. So from here to about here, you're gonna have to shave that right off. You can nip them off. Then you're gonna have to take each wire and move them up, bend them up one at a time, and just shave a little bit off. Put the wire back down, do the other side, and shave it down, and they'll plug right in. So, now I got plenty of bulbs. <laughs> so, a little experiment. I don't see a lot of people doing this because it is a lot of work. But if you don't have a choice and you've lost all your bulbs and you need to replace them, these are the uh, new style bulbs. But you can modify them to work with the old style if you want to work a little bit. So that's all I can say for this. So thanks for watching. So for a little bonus bonus footage, you see me modify these things. So I realize later on that there's going to be a, not a lot of people comfortable of using a knife and whittling their uh, spare bulbs to uh, work in their tree. I have found an easier way. And you're only going to need two, two tools. So your first tool is is one of these little electronic flush cutting uh, wire nippers. They gotta be the flush kind where the cutters are on the flat side and they, when you cut, it cuts perfectly flat. And then your next tool, it's just a simple pair of needle nose. So you've seen me uh, whittle and, and probe and prob and blah, blah, blah. So to quickly review of what I did on the bulb here is uh you see that little see the little wires on there for the led and you see that little uh that extended piece that sticks up up toward the top of my fingers we're going to be cutting that off and then our next step is it's going to be a three-step process so the next step is there's a little bump on the front side of this thing and it's going to be right here where my finger is touching it there's a little bump on there we're going to be flush cutting that off. And then our final step is we're going to squeeze the base to shrink it up a little bit. So, and this is a lot faster than having to whittle it with a knife. So, take your flush cutters and you're going to get right up on it. See how, it, see how the, the flush cutters are right 
at the very bottom. We're going to cut that, cut that extended piece off. And it's going to go flying. So if you don't want it to go flying all over your house, just put your finger over the end of it so it don't go flying. Then for that bump, you want to find the bump part. It's going to be down here on the base because it won't fit in the socket if you don't cut this off. So all you got to do is uh, put your flush cutters right on there, just like that. And we're going to be cutting that, cutting that right off, flush. So while you're cutting it, apply a little bit of down pressure so it forces it to cut flush and just snip it off. And then you'll get a little part to, to uh, take off. So all you got to do is just snap that off. Or you can nip it off. So that preps the bulb to be sized right. And if you got to do any more uh, trimming or anything like that, just look it over real quick to make sure it's nice and flat. As flat as possible. And if you need to touch it up a little bit, just touch it up. And then for the final step, we need to shrink the sides down a little bit. So the sides with the wires, we're going to squish the wires and the plastic together. And we're not going to crush it, but we're going to we're going to uh, squeeze it, squeeze, give it a little bit of a squeeze. So get the pliers, so it contacts that whole little under part there. So the wires, the base, we're going to just give it a little squeeze. And that will compress the wires and it will compress the plastic a little bit because there's not a lot of plastic on either side of them wires. Because like I mentioned earlier that I, I trimmed them off a little bit, a little trimming. There's not a lot of plastic there to trim off. If you trim too much, you take the, you'll take the support away from the wires and then the bulb is useless. So this way, it's a lot safer, it's a lot faster, and you don't have to fuss, a lot less fussing around. So just give it a little squeeze, a little bit of pressure, don't crush it. If you see it starting to bulge and deform, you know, in the areas of the plier, pliers where it's open, you're squeezing too hard. Just give it a little, a little squeeze, that's all it takes, and these will plug right in your old uh, LED light sets. So these are the same exact construction as the older bulbs. And I showed this on my previous videos. If you come to the point where even these ain't sold anymore, and it may come to the point where they're sold out, they, they won't come back in stock. I showed in previous videos that you can actually rebuild these things. These things are built just the same, where you can take the little glass envelope off. It's just a press, press fit. And then you can punch out, unfold the wires here, push the LED out. There's a little spacer in between the legs, the wire legs. If you can salvage that and put it on a new LED, more power to you. If not, you can just sink the LED all the way in and fold the long wire. There's a, on, a, on an LED element, there's a long wire and a short wire. The long wire goes on the same side as the light lock. So it's very easy. You always have the correct polarity unless the light lock is broke. And then if it don't light, flip it over. And then when you're done, you can take the little glass piece. If you salvage that little spacer, it also helps hold the glass on and just put it back in. And then you're all set. And then you can put it in your light box where they belong. So you got plenty of spares and a little life hack to uh, acquire additional bulbs so you don't run out of spares and you can always keep your tree lit because we all know with our balsam hill trees that we spent quite a bit of money on them. We want them to last as long as possible. So a little life hack for you. I hope to help you to uh, streamline some time off your uh, of uh, modifying the uh, new style uh, LED replacement bulbs to retrofit to your old style uh, LED light strings on your balsam hill tree. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.